Afternoon, church family. Uh, hope you're all doing well. I always want to say great to see you, but I don't see you. It would be great to see you, and it will be again in the future. Listen, for the time being, there are some things I want to tell you about. Um, some are exciting, some are not. You need to know all of them. Um, first of all, well, I'll start off with a prayer request here. Uh, many of you know John Layton, a uh, little bit older gentleman in our church family. Um, he has just gotten some uh, some awesome bad news, medically speaking. Um, he's kind of discouraged. He's facing some um, some physical struggles. Um, so pray for him. Um, if there's more information that he wants us to uh, to disseminate, then we'll, we'll get that out. But right now, pray for John Layton and uh, maybe give him a phone call, encourage him, but certainly be praying for him. And uh, he, he needs our encouragement. He's going to need some physical strength and he may need our physical help. We'll find out. We'll see uh, exactly what we can do for him uh, moving forward. Something else I want to talk about is a little bit of a follow up uh, about giving. This has been a real roller coaster ride, but we're kind of used to those these days, right? Um, so for now, and we'll see how long this lasts. It might be a while, it might not, who knows? But for now, at least, go ahead and mail your checks here to the church. Mail them to the church. Um, use your offering envelopes if you want. Uh, that's still a good a good system. Um, but whether you do that or not, mail checks. Do not mail cash. That's just generally a bad idea. Uh, so mail checks here to the church. Uh, and we'll go ahead and, and get those counted and, and deposited, and etc. So uh, for the time being, that's what we'll do. Uh, we may have some more coming out on that, but who knows at this point. Um, so right now, mail checks to the church, and we'll move forward with that. If that's going to be a problem for you for any reason, contact me directly. Uh, I'm not hard to get a hold of. You can call me. You can text me. You can call me here at church. You can email me. You can Facebook me. Uh, if you're not sure how to do any of those things, um, boy, I'm not sure how you're even able to access this video. Uh, but uh, you should be able to get a hold of me one way or another, and I'll help you out with whatever we need to, to do to get you moving forward. Another point of contact, by the way, and this is this is a big new thing, okay? We've talked a little bit about Zoom. If you're unfamiliar with Zoom, that probably means you haven't filled out the uh, the contact questionnaire uh, or the connect questionnaire. If you haven't, please do that. Um, but Zoom is a uh, group chat uh, service or, or, or app or whatever. Um, it's very popular right now because everybody's trying to stay together, uh, but they can't be physically together. Uh, Zoom is is uh, real simple. It's kind of the industry leader right now in uh, group chat, multi-user group chat. If that sounds daunting, it's really not. It just means video chatting. It's not. It's not complex. Um, I, I want everybody to get logged into Zoom. I want I want us all to get connected to that. If if you're the kind of person who's like, oh, I'll just put that on my phone. I'll just download the app. Then great, go for it. Do it. Um, get signed up for that. It's a free account. Don't feel like you have to pay. There are pay options, but you can just use a free account. The church is paying, and that means all the features that we uh, have access to, you will have access to when we are chatting together. Um, when you when you uh, download the app or when you go to the website, zoom.com, uh, and start, uh, sign up for the, the process there, um, send a contact request to office at holmanbaptist.com office at holmanbaptist.com. That'll connect you to the church, and that way we can move forward. Uh, that way we can also start getting connected to each other as well. So the office at holmanbaptist.com will kind of be our central hub, and uh, we'll go from there. If this is, like, if you have no idea how to do what I'm talking about, I promise it's not complex. Uh, go to zoom.com, and then up in the top right, there's a blue button that says get started or sign up. It's free. Something along those lines. Click on that all the steps through. If you need help, don't hesitate to call me, uh, call a friend, um, somebody else from the church or from your family who's going to be more comfortable with this kind of thing. Um, whatever, that's fine. Get a hold of somebody who can help you and we can walk you through it. It's really not complicated. Let me tell you how not complicated it is. I was talking to Joel Arnold about this, our missionary in the Philippines. Uh, he's in the Philippines, a third world country. When the quarantine hit them, which it hit a few weeks before it hit here, uh, and he lives in a, in a poor section of Manila, so he lives in a poor section of a third world country. Um, pretty shortly after quarantine hit them, he said about a third of their church was on Zoom. So I think if a lot of them can do it, a lot of us can do it. Now, I don't mean that 100% of us are going to do it, and that's fine. We don't need to. Uh, it's just another tool for as many of us as can benefit, benefit from it as possible. Another way to stay connected, to be more face-to-face, -to, -face, to feel a lot more natural communication, 
We need, we need encouragement. We need each other. We need each other to shepherd each other if we're going to thrive through this. What I want is to, when we come out of quarantine, pardon me, when we come out of quarantine, I want us to be stronger. I want us to be better. I want us to be more connected to each other, more uh, 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 skilled at shepherding each other and showing each other the love of Christ. And Zoom is one tool that we can use to accomplish that. There's one more thing I want to tell you about, which is another tool for staying connected, but it's a little bit different type of tool. We are introducing and rolling out in, in force this week deacon groups. So each deacon has a, a section of the church that he is responsible for. He and his family, his wife are responsible for. Uh, and that means that they'll be um, being more direct contact with you, being taking more direct care of you. This is not to take you out of my hands. I am still your shepherd. I am still responsible for everybody, and I still want to be connected with everybody. But this is another way for us to help stay connected to each other and for us to keep uh, in, in uh, for the kind of the church, the leadership to stay connected to every individual member, make sure nobody slips through the cracks because we don't want that. Uh, one of the most terrifying things to me about this whole situation with the coronavirus, obviously physically it's scary. Um, and there's danger to, to our people because of that to our church because of that, but I'm far more scared about the far greater likelihood of uh, the spiritual casualties, the people that just kind of float away and never come back. Uh, I don't want that to happen. That's that's not what our church is for. We're here to shepherd each other. So the deacon groups are part of that. They'll be in touch with you later this week, and we'll be talking more about that. But all that, whew, it's a lot. I just wanted to say there's a whole bunch of stuff out here. We need, we need each other. We need to encourage each other. We need to pray for each other. Um, and there are some tools for doing that. Zoom and Deacon Groups are some of the big ones. Again, if you have any questions about Zoom, ask a lot of people. Some people in the church are already using it. Um, we know how to how to get around it and can help you get set up. I'm one of those people. Um, if you need any help, don't hesitate to ask. If you don't need any help, jump on. And I'm looking forward to seeing a bunch of uh, contact requests coming into office at homeandbaptist.com. I love you guys. I'm praying for you, and I'll talk to you again later.